Alright, so we cut our piece of metal out. This is what our damper plate is going to be made out of. As you can see, maybe you can't, my line is not straight at all. <laughs> um, and it doesn't really matter, that's why I made it a little bit bigger. It's going to be hidden on the back side anyway. And if we were looking at our damper opening, right here, um, in the center of the damper on the fireplace is going to be a hinge um, that the damper actually moved in and out of and it also held the uh, the rod that we would turn the damper in and out with. We need to be able to clear that with our liner and we're installing a Harman center insert today so our takeoff is going to be on the appliance on the right hand side. So halfway between center and the outside edge is where our liner is going to come through. All right, um, And we're actually going to take about two inches back on there from center so our liner is going to go through right about there and uh, it doesn't have to be exact but I've done this enough that I know it's going to be right about there and then this right here is a liner fitting for a different type of liner system um, but it happens to be four inches around so that's why I'm using this because I'm going to trace it right here You also want to make sure that this hole is in the center from here to here. Um, not too far up, not too far down because we want it to be in the center of the damper opening. And then what I'm going to do is right down the center of this, my lead broke, but that's alright, we're going to uh, cut these two pieces in half. And I'll show you why we're doing this because it's much easier to make this in two parts. So, oh, let's grab the other snips. These are our fine cutting snips, and then we're going to cut out the uh, four inch hole that we have registered and marked on here on the steel. Whenever you're cutting metal like this, you really ought to be wearing gloves. I'm not. <laughs> this stuff, this metal is extremely sharp. So there's one half. Here is the other half. Now, these two pieces are going to come together like this. However, if we have them together like this, all right, we don't have any way to screw them together. And if we go like this with enough room to screw them together, you can see that now we don't have a circle anymore. So what I usually do is I take this and I overlay it by about an inch, like so. We're going to place our collar back on top of this. And then we're going to score another line for one side of it. Where did the thing go? Where is the pencil? Pencil went. You broke the tip. Oh, nice. All right, we'll use another piece of metal. Just like so. Perfect. There we go. And then instead of coming in like this, that's no good. We're going to start right here at the same cut. And we're going to cut laterally, and then we're going to ease into the other circle. So. There we go. Like so. Now, we can fit our two pieces, and we can have circular opening. The next thing that we need to do is we have to figure out a way to fasten this into the damper. And the way that I choose to do this is by placing a hole in here and a hole in here and we're going to thread a bolt through the back side of these and then using this uh, piece of metal here with the holes already in it, we're going to cut this in half and we're going to make two spacer bars that will take up the opening of the damper and the thread will come through them and as we screw them down it will cinch the back plate up against the back of the damper. 